Okay, so in video 1165 we introduced paper rolls, in 1166 we talked a little bit about the history and application and the way I've made them, and this one we're actually going to make the frame, okay? So for all those people who think, Rob just talked too much, just get on with it, this is the one we're going to get on with it. So I've got these paper rolls, remember I made ten of them, and I'm going to use those to replicate this frame. Now I've got this frame because it helps me know where all of the angles are, makes it dead easy, all I've got to do is match everything to this. So we're going to strip this down, use this frame, and we're going to replicate it with our nice paper rolls. Okay, that's it stripped out. Now bikes actually are staringly simple things. I mean, they're essentially three triangles. We've got one triangle there, and then two, and then three. And we need to, need to make those three triangles and join them together, and that makes a bike frame. So that's the one they're going to be copying, and now we just do that in paper. Now putting it together as a frame is actually really easy. I mean, you just basically cut the tubes to size that you want, and then butt join them together and put some kind of filler glue in there, because there's no structural strength in those joints yet. That filler glue can be like a whole host of things. You can use epoxy resins if you want, you can use wood filler if you want, you can use PVA mixed with sawdust, just a whole range of things. Because all you're really doing is filling that hole and giving it uh, enough grip so that it holds it in registration, which is exactly what you can see here with this joint and this joint. They're just held in place while I strengthen that up. Now I'm going to strengthen it up in the same principle that we did the bamboo bike, that is we wrap the joint. Now the wrapping material can be, again, a ton of things. In the bamboo we used uh, jute string because I liked the naturalness of it. When they make bamboo bikes they actually use carbon fibre or they use that fibreglass that you for uh, uh, resins. Uh, sorry, for broken arms, that kind of thing. It's a, it's a dry wrap because when you wet wrap it, it is incredibly messy. So you might notice I've got a plastic sheet down and some gloves on because this thing drips worse than if I punched it in the nose. It's all over the place. So we need to put something down to protect it if you're going to use wet wrap resin, which is exactly what I'm going to use. Now, I'm going to use carbon fibre woven rove because that's what I've got. That rove just means it's a crisscross pattern weave. Um, we used tau, which was the linear stuff in one of the videos that we did. So I'm sure you're getting the message here. There's a million things you can use to wrap it with, but you have to wrap the joint because it's the wrapping that gives the joint its strength. This filler that we've used, it's only holding it together. It's no strength at all. The wrapping is where it gets its strength. So I'm using carbon fibre and resin because I've got it. I'm incidentally using a styrene resin because it's less brittle. It's got a little bit of flexibility. And of course, we're on a, a bike here. It's going to be flexing all over the place. So we've got a little bit of flexibility in the joint as well as strength of the joint. Some of the um, polyurethane resins are a bit brittle, really. But you can use them. They're just that little bit brittle. I happen to have this, so that's what I'm using it. So I'm just using stuff I happen to have, but there's a million things you can use. Now, it's dead easy to use this stuff. Pour it in a cup, weigh it, add two. Uh, this particular catalyst is two grams. Give it a good stir. And then we dip the carbon fibre in there and get it wet. And when it's wet, we just wrap it around until we've made a good joint. I've cut a length of carbon fibre that long. It's pretty random, actually. If it's too short, well, I'll just lay more carbon fibre on. If it's too long, I'm just going to keep wrapping until I use it up. Okay, so when I've bound all those joints and given it a little bit of a sand, this is what you end up with. Now the only bits of metal are here, the steering column, and these finials here where I'm going to attach the, re the wheel. The rest of that is paper and glue, which is pretty awesome. Now I chose carbon fibre only because I know it's strong and I've got it. We have tried string, and remember there's a whole host of things that you can use in order to make those joints. And those joints are made in the same way as we made the joints when we were exploring bamboo. So if you, <laughs> if you choose a slightly different way, of course, your version might look different from the model you see on the box, which I think is hilarious. But the uh, principles here are pretty obvious. Roll your sticks, 
bind them up with something to make a good strong joint and when you design what it is you're going to make whether it's a sidecar a bike a recumbent whatever it is you're going to make you'll end up with a structure that's actually pretty stable and pretty rigid the only thing left to do with this obviously is paint it now i'm going for bright yellow why i like bright yellow and i've got some bright yellow so i'm going to paint that bright yellow so there we go, one bright yellow paper bicycle. Now clearly the next thing to do is stick the wheels on and take it into the car park and make sure the weight of a fat boy doesn't break it in two. But I'm really pleased with that as it happens. I think it's going to be fine. I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to subscribe.